Okay, guys, here we are at the beginning of all things with a humble Rohan rider or a ride, ro, Rohirrim rider? Rider of Rohan? Yeah, Rider of Rohan, let's go with that. Uh, and we're going to change him up and turn him into a Outrider. Alright, let's see what we can do. This is my bits box from a lot of the ring stuff. Let's see what we got. Move him out of the way. We have a bow. An orc bow, but it's a bow. We can do something with that. Uh, anything else that he need? A sword. He's got a sword. He's got his sword there already, so he doesn't need that. Um, yeah, let's just play around with that bow and see what we can do. See if I can smooth out where this material has been. Make it look a little more Rohani rather than orc. It's sort of hard to get the hard to get those details off. Let's try to approach. come back when this is done okay and there's the bow I've worked out the uh, the cloth at either tip and it'll look fine once it's painted up so let's keep going okay, next up we have to cut out the spear Get a bow in there. Alright. I'm going to file away these edges a bit and cut the bow in half and then glue it back together. Alright, so that's done. I've just filed it down with a file and we're going to cut the bow in half. Alright, I think the spear that he was holding is going to look fine. some green stuff in there. Right, and the idea is to do it sort of like that. Hang on a second. Okay, and it's going to sort of be like that. Alright, we'll come back when they're glued. Okay, so these bows, I'm actually going to file where the grip, where the grip was, we're going to just make that a bit smaller so it doesn't look so long in the handle. Same with this one. Okay, plastic Citadel welding glue. We're just going to get a bit on here. Time will tell. See if we can get it to look something like a bow. Yeah, it looks decent to me. Cool. 
Oh, he's got a bow. Ah, there you, see, there you go. Have a look at that. We'll just wait for that to dry and we'll come back to the next bit. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. The next thing is, I wanted to see if I can possibly make him without a shield. I'm going to try and clip this shield off. See how we go with that and whether it's going to be. Not bad. Better than I thought it was going to be. Fix that up with a bit of green stuff, I think. Keep working on that and come back to okay, it. There he is. I'm tossing up whether I put a shield on the back of him like one of my other models like that. Bloody glue won't come out. That ever happens you can just swap it around the other way the needle because the glue will melt itself the needle free right, and here we go let's see if that's going to work Beautiful. Alright. Okay, and next up is a little orc bunch of bows I'm going to glue on. So let's do that. I've looked at both sides of the model and I feel like the balance is better. And I realised I made him a. He's backwards. He's got. I think he's a left hander, or he's got it in his right hand. Yeah, it makes him a lefty. If that makes any sense. He'd be having the arrows in his left hand. That's alright. He's got the shield on the back. It's pretty good. Alright. That's. Uh, about the end of the converting, I'm going to do some more on his base, but that looks like pretty good. Sweet. Here I use some green stuff putty. Um, you should use probably the one that you have to mix by hand because this was a bit not the best for the job, but it dries hard and it sort of worked, so I'm happy enough. Um, here I am gluing down a bit of cork for the riverbank. Um, yeah. Try not to get this on your fingers because uh, I got a little bit on there and they can stick your fingers together. But um, yeah, just shuffle it into place, covering that hole in the base. Um, sort of killing two birds with one stone there, not having to put green stuff in there. And back to these little bits of cork battlefield rocks, really handy. I'm going to put them around his feet, the horse's feet, so that um, can have some rocks coming out of the river.
uh, give your can a good shake and just nice short bursts. Um, have the wind going away from you and yeah, try and get a good even coat on him. Um, when you're finished, hold the can upside down and spray for a few seconds and that'll stop the paint from drying inside the nozzle and then it will come out in spots otherwise onto your next model that you're painting. And here's my Outrider with uh, fully painted up. I'm going to show you guys how I do a water base. Okay. A little bit of a close up on him. Sorry for the shaky hands. Love that shield. Okay. Okay. First up is to paint the base Temple Guard Blue. Paint that all over. Okay, we'll come back when that's done. Okay, next up is painting the the shoreline, the side of the river. And I'm using Steel Legion Drab for the base. Now I'm going to just do some Sotec Green uh, where there's some deeper water out to the edge of the river here. So after that's dried, I'm just going to darken up some of these areas with some Hessian grey in the, in the blue, out here on the edges, and around the rocks away from the way the water is flowing, just to give them a bit of depth. That looks a bit rivery. The idea is just to underpaint as much as you can to make it look like a river. And I've done some white, skull white, to uh, get some ripple effects on the top of the water where it might be bubbling. Okay, next I'm just getting some XV88 uh, up onto the bank here. Just to dapple it around a bit, try and get a bit of a uh, texture and sort of a bit of a layer two-tone and we'll do it a bit more with a bit of screaming skull worked into it too just to really make a pop okay okay next up is some dawnstone gray on top of these rocks get some again just building up a couple of tones and layers there with the rock Make them look as realistic as we can. Jump a bit there. Peter on top of this one. Just do it lightly. Um, don't push down into all the cracks because you want the ash and grey to show underneath. This is just to. There we go. 
That's what it looks like. Okay, just getting some final highlights on these rocks with some administratum grey. You want to do the rocks before the gel, just so um, if the gel gets on there, you can't paint under the gel. It's all sort of got to look ready by the time you go to put the gel down. Alright, that's looking good. This is some AK Interactive uh, water gel. I've got the Atlantic Blue, and um, I'm just gonna give it a little shake off camera before I open her up. All right, let's see what's inside. It smells a bit just like, like PVA glue, and uh, it's about as goopy as PVA glue. And uh, there we are. The next step is to get some of the water gel and just put it on the base on all the blue area there where the river is. Um, try and make it fairly thin, maximum it says on the bottle is to do three millimeters thick. And uh, this is what it looks like before I've left it to dry. It should dry 24 hours, so leave it overnight at least before you come back to it. As you can see there, I've just overpainted on top of the gel with a bit of white and I'm going back over it uh, with some more gel because the, the bottom layer is fully cured, it's fully dried and I want to try and create some layers. I think this was pointless and you could just do one layer. Um, I couldn't really see much of a difference apart from maybe a smoother surface. Um, that was about it. but. Uh, We'll skip to the next bit. Okay, this is how it's looking. You can see underneath there's some white uh, coming through the, the blue. Um, we're just going to try and get some more white on top and then we'll do the rim and it's done. Okay, and now we're just doing my favourite part of the process, which is doing the rim. I forgot a step, uh, put some Othonian camo shade, some, uh, some green onto these rocks just to create a bit of a mossy rock and just try and get a little bit more realistic. It does look a bit cartoony. If you want, you can put some Agrax earth shade on there, uh, makes them really look like uh, real rocks as well, which I forgot to do. And then after this, I just put some Elysian green, I just dabbed a little bit on top. And here's the final, the final model um, with his water base. I hope you've enjoyed this um, converting and base tutorial. Um, like, comment, subscribe, 
and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Peace out.